So this is my fuel injector test rig. I've built it for my latest project. Um, I'll go over first of all what it's made up of, all the bits and everything, and I'll go through a, a actual demonstration of it in use. Uh, so the case first of all is what they called it's from a high street sh uh, store, and it's what they called a small shoe box. It's just a plastic case. Uh, I got a fuel rail which is the same as the one in my car. I got that off of eBay and it came with the injectors which is good because they, they have these clips. I was concerned that I may not get those clips because I've got some injectors which I can use. But the fact that it's come with injectors I can just, that's great because they're, they're kind of disposable then. Uh, I, I, it doesn't matter what I do with them. Um, the fuel rail's got this uh, pressure relief valve but that didn't seem to work. Um, uh, but I'll go over that later. Um, Underneath here, I've, uh, which sticks into the actual plastic case, is a petrol pump. I got the cheapest I could find on eBay. I think it was about £12. Uh, and then I've just got some high pressure hose uh, so it pumps it up through a nice cheap um, fuel filter. Uh, but I wanted to get one with a metal case because uh, it's going to be 3.5 bar roughly, which is going through this. Uh, and then after the fuel filter, it goes to a split in the fuel line. Um, one route comes down to this. This is a pressure relief valve as well because at first, I didn't have this at first but because this didn't seem to actually relieve pressure. It didn't seem to work. I, I don't know if it's stuck or if it's, a, it's been set to a much higher pressure than it should be. I don't know. Uh, so I got this one but this is good because it's got a meter on it so I can see what the pressure is as well. And it's also adjustable, so I can adjust the adjust the pressure. I set it to about the, the meter uh, reads in kilograms per centimeter squared, which is roughly the same as bar. So I've set it to three point five, which is roughly roughly three point five bar. Uh, and then the other uh, line uh, from the split up here goes onto the fuel rail uh, and into the fuel injectors. So also. Um, Got some high pressure. Well, it doesn't need to be high, high pressure. This is like like a low pressure side. This is a pressure the on the other side of the pressure relief valve. Uh, I've got that, that coming down and straight back into the container. Also, uh, even though this doesn't seem to be working, I've still kept the uh, low pressure side of this um, where it um, returns back into the case as well, just in case that ever does um, switch on. Uh, I'm actually using. I'm not using. Uh, petrol because I didn't want to use petrol in a test rig I'm using isopropyl alcohol now, I don't know if that, that may or may not cause issues with um, some of the components I don't think it should I mean it's a, a clean non-corrosive uh, substance so uh, but I'm not too worried if it does or not I've got the connectors uh, for the fuel injectors and I've wired those up and at the minute they're just on like uh, loose ends at the minute the wires and I've got the wire for the petrol uh, running from the petrol pump as well, so I can power up the petrol pump. Uh, I'll connect that up to my project later, but I can show it just connecting it up to a um, a battery for now to just uh, demonstrate it in test. I've come down to table level uh, to do the demonstration of the test of the actual uh, rig. Now you can see the the actual isopropyl alcohol has gone slightly yellow. I think there was unleaded petrol in the system still. I, I'd emptied out as best as I could. But there must have been some still in there, so that's like washed through. I'll, I'll uh, use some clean isopropyl alcohol later on. I'll let that just like clean itself through. Uh, so I've got just a 12 volt battery here, which I'm going to power the system from. So if I connect up the uh, fuel pump first. As you can see, it goes up to about 3.5. Well, it's kilograms per centimeter squared, but that's roughly the same as 3.5 bar. Uh, and it's pumping through the system and it's coming back out through this pressure relief valve which is this one here uh, and that's so the, the, the actual system pressurization is working fine and I've connected up just one of the injectors um, to these wires here and I'll just I'll switch on the injector and as you can see that the injector right here in the, the second one from the from the left it switches on and off that's brilliant because that means that I can check the spray pattern of the injectors, see if the injectors are working okay or not. Uh, if I just power that off. And I can use this rig for my um, my other project, um, which I'll be developing over over a little bit more time. Uh, but I've also uh, got this, which is a flow sensor. And I think this will come in handy because what I'll do ultimately is I'll put the actual injectors I'm using in my car into this rig. And if I check the flow rate of each one, if if one is 1% higher than the others, then hopefully, ultimately, I'll be able to adjust the tuning of my car 
uh, so that, that, that takes into account the extra flow rate from one to the other. I don't know how accurate injectors are supposed to be from one to the next, but hopefully I'll be able to balance them out if there is any imbalance between them. And the injectors in my car have done over 130,000, well, about 130,000 miles. Um, so there might be some uh, indifferences over time, I don't know.